The murder trial for Derek Chauvin is set to begin in just two weeks. State officials say that the security need is unprecedented. There's been a stalemate at the state capitol on how to fund the added protection and resources after the House sunk the governor's plan for a $35 million safety account. But as WCCO's Caroline Cummings tells us, there could be hope of a deal in sight. Well, we want to make sure that uh, the streets are safe. Senator Paul Gazelka has been firm in his opposition to the governor's $35 million safe account, calling it a bailout for Minneapolis. And he stood by a plan approved by Senate Republicans that would cut a share of state funding that goes to Minneapolis if the city fails to reimburse other cities for their help. But Gazelka on Friday first told WCCO what might bridge that gap. He says he would support some money up front for security and a fund similar to the safe account supporting mutual aid in any Minnesota city in the event of emergency, so long as law enforcement groups get a say and the governor doesn't control it. I have not agreed to 35 million in a pot of money. I'm just saying that I'm willing to explore uh, resources up front as long as uh, it's not under the oversight of the governor or, or the city of Minneapolis. A deal is urgent, leaders say, as the trial begins in two weeks. The motion does not prevail. Thursday night, the safe account bill failed in the DFL-controlled House. After a few Twin Cities area DFLers joined Republicans to vote it down, the governor and DFL leadership want to find a compromise. And I talked to Senator Gazelka this morning. We have an idea. Speaker Hortman declined to share what that idea is. Minneapolis officials are moving forward with security preparations. More than 1,000 officers across 11 jurisdictions have offered mutual aid. As many as 2,000 National Guardsmen could join them. Concerns in mid January that money was really crucial to get the aid agreements in place um, is less urgent at this point. At the Capitol, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. Governor Tim Wall says he's disappointed in last night's vote and argues without the account in place, it'll make preparations more challenging. Senator Gazelka said that he was optimistic a deal can be reached before the trial begins.